You know, there was such an abrupt change from mild to frigid weather, and it left many dejected. Yeah, but the tumbling temperatures mean big business for some local companies. KETV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravlin takes a look. Late Monday morning, Omaha's temperature topped out at 60 degrees. By 6 o'clock that evening, we were down to 31 and haven't been above freezing since. So at some point, you likely cranked up the heat in your home. Or maybe you tried to. Everybody needs their furnace to kick on, and when it doesn't, they panic and they give us a call. Clint Boatman with Fred's Heating and Air has had technicians running round the clock. We are booked um, up until about two weeks out. So if you need your furnace firing on all cylinders, you may have to wait. The dramatic drop in temperatures has also meant a spike in calls for sprinkler companies. And if your system froze over in the past week, you could be in some pretty big trouble. And we weren't able to even drain some of the systems that some of the homeowners have left on. We could have um, damage in the ground already. Dustin Nissen is general manager of Millard Sprinkler. He says there was a flood of phone calls earlier in the week. The, the calls have been, yeah, really nonstop since Tuesday morning. His technicians are booked solid into next week. For those who procrastinated on preventative maintenance, it could be too late. If your backflow is damaged and you haven't done anything about it, one of these days when it gets up to about 35 degrees, it's going to melt and shoot water all over the side of your house. The biggest problems come from underground damage. But homeowners won't be able to tell if those repairs are needed until they turn their systems back on this spring. Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7.